Hi, this video is an introduction to using the Competencies tool in D2L. The Competencies tool allows you to add your course competencies or your learning objectives into a tiered competency structure within D2L, to attach competencies to assignments for evaluation, to attach competencies to grade items or assignment rubrics and set a threshold score for completion, measure student progress based on competency completion in the Class Progress tool, and finally, it will also allow you to issue awards to students for completion of individual competencies. The competency tool can be found inside of the Instructor Edit Course area in the navbar under Assessment and Competencies. The first step to adding competencies to your course is to build a competency structure, like the one shown. There are two items you can add to a competency structure competencies, and learning objectives. With that said, we recommend adding your course competencies only as learning objectives, not as competencies. Despite their name, D2L only allows you to attach learning objectives to assignments and grade items, not competencies. If you only create competencies in this tool, you will not be able to attach them to grades or assignments. We recommend just creating competencies that can serve as headings, like this one, to help organize your learning objectives. I'll show you how to do that. To add a new competency, click New and then Competency. Then give the competency a name that can serve as a heading for your main course competencies, such as the title of your course and your course competencies. Leave the status of the competency on draft until you are certain you are finished editing. Once the status of anything in a competency structure is set to approved, it can no longer be changed. You'll probably want to make this competency and its children visible to users, meaning that it will just be visible to students. And you'll probably also want to check allow reevaluation of users who have achieved this competency. This just means that you can reevaluate a student after they've achieved a competency at any time. Click Save, and you will be returned to the Competency Home. Now you can see the competency we just created here. Next, we will add some subordinate learning objectives to that competency to build out the structure. Select the competency in the list to add learning objectives underneath it as children of that competency. In Edit Competency, navigate to Structure, then select the Edit Structure tab. Under Children, we're going to click New Learning Objective. In the window that opens, give your learning objective a name. Then scroll down, and we want to leave the option Enforced Assessment Methods set to No. And then under Ready for Evaluation, we'll select Yes, and click Add. You will be returned to the children of your competency structure where you can continue adding the rest of your course competencies as new learning objectives. Once you have finished adding all of your learning objectives as children of that competency, scroll up and return to the competency structure page or competency home and select the highest level competency in your structure. Scroll down and we're going to change the status of that competency to approved so that we can use it in the course. Save. Once that competency is set to approved and all of your learning objectives are now ready for evaluation, you'll be able to add each individual learning objective to different assessments and elsewhere within the course. Next, we are going to attach learning objectives to assessments. Learning objectives built into the competency tool can be attached to items almost anywhere inside of D2L. You can attach a learning objective to one or more assessments so that successful completion of those assessments is required to pass a competency or to pass a learning objective. To attach a learning objective to an assignment Dropbox assignment, first set up the assignment as you normally would and attach a rubric. Next, select the drop down arrow next to the Dropbox and edit folder. In the right-hand menu, expand the heading Evaluation and Feedback. 
then select Manage Learning Objectives. In the window that opens, select Associate Learning Objectives, and then choose any learning objectives from the list that you want to associate with the assignment, and add Selected. The learning objective will be added, but you'll notice underneath it says that this learning objective is not being evaluated. In order to evaluate based on the learning objective, we have to add an assessment. Select the drop-down arrow next to that learning objective, and then Add Assessment. Next, in the window that opens, you'll want to select the rubric that's associated with this assignment. Then under Criteria, you'll want to decide whether you want the overall rubric score to count towards achievement of this learning objective, or if you would rather have one particular criterion in the rubric count towards that learning objective. And then you'll want to choose whether or not you want the activity to be required to complete the learning objective. That will expand another menu where you can select the threshold required to pass the learning objective um, based on the score received on the rubric. Click Save. We'll now see that we have a learning objective associated with this assignment Dropbox, and also that the assessment of this assignment is going to count towards the completion of that learning objective for the course. Now, when students go to submit the assignment, they will see not just the attached rubric, but also what they need to do in order to complete the required learning objective. It is also possible to attach learning objectives to quizzes by going to the quiz page and selecting the drop down arrow next to a quiz and going to edit and then navigating to the objectives tab where very similarly to how we added an objective to an assignment Dropbox you can also associate learning objectives with that quiz. For discussions you can also associate a learning objective by going to the discussions page, edit topic, and then navigating to the Objectives tab. As students successfully complete the requirements to pass each learning objective, you'll be able to monitor their progress using the Class Progress tool, which has a column dedicated to objectives. To view student progress on objectives in detail, just click on the completed bar, where you can see objectives progress in greater detail for each individual student. If you have further questions about setting up or using the competencies tool, don't hesitate to reach out to us at online.learning at nscc.edu.